just because circumstances change doesn't mean that things can or will go bad, right? Environments happen, circumstances happen. And when you're in the crux of it, it may feel painful. It may look painful. You may think it's painful. And reality is it's just preparing you for your what's next. And I think so many people out there hear the zero to hero stories, the outhouse to penthouse stories, and, and then the itty bitty shitty committee kicks in, the bully in the brain starts beating the crap out of them that the reason why other people can do it is because dot, dot, dot. So just like I had a couple really tough blows, you have to. Mm. So I'd love for you to share your journey of entrepreneurism with our listeners, if you're okay with that. Sure. Yeah. So it really starts when I was, um, I was living in San Francisco and I was working in media and marketing sales just as a stop gap. And I got recruited actually by a, I got recruited by a woman who was playing with some new equity finance insurance type stuff. And she basically recruited me to start a new wing of her company, a new division of her company. And I was like 23 or 24 years old. And it was this, you know, penthouse office in San Francisco in the financial district. And I'm like bragging about it to all my friends. I'm like, mom, I made it. I'm, you know, look, my business card says president. My mom's like, don't get taken by this person. You know nothing about her. And I was like, no, it's all good. And I started building this business with her and we had a handshake agreement. And uh, the agreement was that she'd pay me a very small kind of little salary to help build the business. And then I'd get 10% of any policies that I brought in. Mm -hmm. And about two days before Christmas that year, she calls me in her office. And this is after nine months of doing business briefings, luncheons, whining and dining clients, the whole, the whole deal. And she brings me in. She goes, hey, I just wanted to write you a little something to get you through the holidays. And I'm thinking she's going to write me in advance on a policy that I'm meant to close in about two weeks after the New Year's, a $2 million policy. And so she takes out her checkbook and she starts to write two, zero, zero. And she stops at $200, <laughs> slides the check across the table <sighs> and says, thanks, bud. Thanks, kid. You're out. <gasps> I said, what? She oh, said, yeah. wow. I said, but we had an agreement. She said, no, we had a handshake. Oh, oh okay. So that's how, that's, that was my first big play in the world of uh, entrepreneurship. Mm. And, you know, I used to tell the story that, well, she took advantage of me and she manipulated me and this, that, and the other. And I played the victim, which is in the context of what you're talking about right now anyway. Mm -hmm. The accountable version of the story is I didn't have a contract. I didn't have an agreement. I had nothing in writing. I was a bright-eyed, bushy-tailed kid who had dollar signs that blinded everything that I did and every choice that I made. Mm. 